Uh, I've only been doing this for about 40 years, starting uh, as a ball boy for the Seattle Supersonics, and I can tell you I don't think uh, there was any morning that I woke up uh, more excited about coming to work than I did today. Uh, to have this opportunity at this stage of my life uh, is really a dream come true. You know, it's, uh, it's the ability to take what I've learned every day of my life and bring it to a situation that there's something happening here uh, that is going to be very special. Well, my, uh, my lucky career break happened at Queen Anne High School in Seattle. And uh, in the back of the English Lit class, when we're supposed to be listening to the teacher, was the coolest kid at Queen Anne, who was a ball boy for the Seattle Supersonics. And I guess my big career break was that Earl Woodson's family was going to move out of Seattle. So I talked Earl into taking me down to introduce me to the trainer for the Sonics and uh, I got hired as a ball kid for the Seattle Supersonics and while I was uh, in Delta Chi at the University of Washington I worked part-time in our media relations office that ended up into a full-time job and as public relations director for the Sonics which got me to the NBA Finals twice and a championship in 1979 and uh, got a call from uh, some guy, some young lawyer at the NBA named David Stern ended up being commissioner who said you know I might have a place for you back here and Ended up spending 19, uh, 17 years at the NBA in a variety of capacities, which uh, was really a very, very exciting time. And you know, since have gone on to be president of the Phoenix Suns and now the Golden State Warriors. You know, I think going to a very large school uh, at that time, I think the University of Washington had 35,000 students, uh, even though it was in my hometown. Uh, I think having uh, a place to go home to every day where you could share your experiences uh, and everything you were going through at a really critical time in life uh, was, was really a sense of place for me. It, it gave me a home base, it gave me people I could depend upon, it gave me uh, a structure in, in a really new phase of my life. And I think you know, those are things we all learn, I think, in the fraternity and carry through the rest of your life. I was, uh, I was an assistant Russ chairman one year, Russ chairman the following year, and an A the year after that. So uh, I lived in the house uh, four full years. Uh, we had the coolest house on campus because we had a swimming pool, right? So summers were a big deal at Delta Chi at Washington. And you could li I lived in the house, uh, even though my home was in Seattle, I lived in the house all far four years I was there. So uh, it was really one of the great experiences of my life. Uh, I think a lot of uh, things carried over into my career. I think uh, first opportunity to really take uh, a leadership role uh, in an environment that we got to structure ourselves. Uh, I think that was really important. Uh, we had you know, the choice of making rules or not making rules, following rules or not following rules, asserting leadership or not asserting leadership. And I think all those things uh, were great lessons to me. And I think uh, the ability to be able to express yourself in front of a group of people in, a, in an effective way, ability to be able to rally around ideas and get uh, buy-in on what you want to get accomplished and then watch it unfold and get accomplished. I think, I think all those lessons you learn in, in that kind of environment carry on and, and are really valuable throughout your career. You know, I think uh, everybody has their own career path, right? Or everyone has their own path in life. And, uh, you know, I think as time goes on, you gain confidence in your own abilities, you gain confidence in your own judgment. You know, I had to make a decision three years ago about uh, coming out publicly as a gay man in sports, which had never been done before by somebody at my level. Uh, uh, in our industry and you know I was very fortunate to seek the advice of a lot of really smart people I was very fortunate to meet a tremendous reporter from the New York Times you know I was at a point in time where that was important to me on what I wanted to accomplish going forward and, and the dialogue that I hope would would start there uh, about in sports about gays in sports and to, to really look back now on the last three years on what's transpired uh, in sports and, and in our society in general, I don't think I ever could have imagined we'd be where we are today. And, uh, you know, my story, if told today, might be considered as pretty irrelevant. And I think that's probably the greatest progress that I could point to. 
Uh, it's been great, you know, and and because of the timing of these events, you know, I've been able to I've been able to become friends with the uh, you know Robbie Rogers who is in the MLS or Jason Collins who who uh, came out in our league or or even Michael Sam now who first NFL player, you know, and that those relationships that I've been able to forge and maybe some advice that I've been able to give along the way has been really important. But but that's you know that's the focal point the players on the field as it should be. Maybe more powerful, more important to me, or from from parents or from kids themselves who are kind of trying to get their arms around, you know, where they are in their lives and what the future holds for them, and trying to figure out if they can be successful because of who they are, not in spite of who they are. And I think, you know, I I draw the greatest satisfaction from from hoping to add something to the conversation and what they're thinking about and trying to get them to a place where uh, you know they can lead happy productive lives doing what they love to do. You know I don't think I really would. Um, I would like to have not worked as hard. I had a full-time job the whole time I was going to school and that was you know a lot to have on your plate but uh, you know the environment I chose to be in in Delta Chi and the friendships that I made there and and really kind of what set me on a, a path for my career uh, were all things that I would never change I think they were a big part of who I am today you know I think it's just to cherish every moment that that you spend in that time together in that house it's a, it's the most special time of life you're going through you know a lot of changes uh, in your own philosophy and your education and setting a path for your future and you have around you uh, a lot of people who care about the same things that you do and you take the time to develop relationships that inevitably are going to help guide you in the future. So, you know, I, I don't know that we ever really appreciate those times at the moment that we're in them. Uh, but if I had some advice to give, it would be just, you know, to take a step back and really realize what a great time of life this is and to enjoy it and take as much away from it as you possibly can.